Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Today we are testing out another makeup brand, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation. This is a liquid foundation and this is in the color Shell. This comes with 0.84 fluid ounces and we're going to apply half with a brush and the other half with a wet beauty blender and let's see how it performs. Here's my skin before, not that bad, not that great. All right, I put one pump. Allegedly, half a pump is supposed to cover your whole face. We shall see. All right, not too bad. Literally, my face blends into my hair. Like, <laughs> I'm one of those wall paintings. All right, let's do the beauty blender. Do you have a beauty blender here? It's wet because I had to go wash it. This time, I'm only gonna put half a pump and see how that goes. Okay, so this is it light and more sheared out, and this is it heavy. You can see it did cover up some of the redness that I have on my face. I like, but I think I told you guys before, I like heavy foundation, so I prefer the way this right side looks. And like I said, most of the time, just go over it with a beauty blender just to remove those streaks. Alright, now let's do another layer on this cheek. See if we can build, build together. Sharing our life, spending our time. I didn't believe in you. I wouldn't be standing here now. I didn't believe in you. All of the 10,000 women you are. I didn't think you could do anything you ever wanted to. Four years ago, I knew never took much convincing to make me believe in you. Cause I will be going and then I'm a cunt. Will you share your life with me for the next 10 minutes, for the next 10 minutes? 
can you please just stop? Say how we feel. Is it really that you're disappointed to be going again to Ohio? Did it all turn out what you feared? It turned out to be. Talk to me, Kathy. Okay, I'm seeing like pretty good match on my neck and even my hand. Just do an arm test. Arm's a little tan from sunless tana. Let's get close. Let's get Glenn close. Let's get Glenn close. This is probably the most full coverage foundation that I've tried. So as I think if you have heavily pigmented skin, this is worth giving a shot because as you can even see just from the color of the foundation has completely camouflaged my face. Like my face is a blank slate right now. So if you have heavily, if you have like heavy pigmentation or even acne, I would test this out because it's doing a really good job of concealing the redness that I have on my face. So right now this is on sale on the Hourglass website and it does say direction shake well before each use apply with vanish foundation brush for the most seamless finish formula is highly concentrated only a small amount is needed for best results prep complexion with Hourglass fail mineral primer. Like I said this is in the color shell so yeah, I mean, it actually kind of feels a lot like the e.l.f. concealer and even the way it shears out like an e.l.f. concealer. Look, I'll show you guys. So here's an e.l.f. concealer. This is not in the same color, but I'll show you. So when you put it on, right, see how thick and covering that is? really camouflages the skin. Now when you take a brush and you sort of move it around, notice how some of the product moves and then most of the product stays in place. And also what will happen is that product that is stationary will really sit in those creases and in those pores. At least until at least until your oils start building up and um so yeah that's kind of what it looks like and then here's a swatch of the hourglass maybe i should do that with my fingers all right instead of putting it on with a brush i will do a finger swipe so you can see it so this is the elf See how, okay, but you see how a lot of the product stays stationary and then just some of it slides around, but it slides around. You get that concept, right? So here's this one, again, exact same consistency where most of it's staying stationary, but then some of it's sliding around. Yeah, that's because these are both similar consistencies, concealer and foundation. So really what I think you're paying for is a concealer being marketed as a foundation. However, I'm comparing them and I think, I think that the Hourglass does have better coverage than the, than this e.l.f. concealer. Because if you can see, this e.l.f. concealer really moves around. And when it moves around, see how it come, came off in that little section? So that's what you're getting with the e.l.f. concealer. Imagine this was a brush buffing. See how it buffed away that coverage on that little mark right there? But now look at the hourglass. You're buffing the hourglass. See how it's still staying pretty covered? I mean, I wish, yeah, I do have a mark there. So yeah, you can see it is when the more you buff something, the more you remove it. And that's why you can see the little lines and marks underneath it. So as far as like, um, 
As far as coverage, it does look as though the, the Hourglass is superior to this particular concealer. However, I do think that it's still you're purchasing a concealer, if that makes any sense to you guys. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you have the money and you want to try out this, what I would dub an enhanced concealer, then try out this Vanish Hourglass because I do think it does a really good job of vanishing the color on my face. <laughs> However, if you're on a budget, I think you could just get away with this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Set and Finish. And then e.l.f. has other concealers too. I kind of want to show you, uh, just in comparison, this Tarte Shape Tape. And we'll see if it's at all similar to, just because I feel like the e.l.f. is normally, a lot of people say the e.l.f. is a dupe for the shape tape, so why don't we just see if the shape tape is superior. So I put it on my hand and now we're going to rub it. And this has very little movability, but it is moving around a little bit. Okay, now we'll buff it, like we're buffing it with a brush. And okay, I'm seeing the blue. I'm seeing the blue through my skin. Are you guys seeing it? So we've got shape tape on this hand, hourglass, and then the elf. Hope this is gonna focus. The elf almost looks like I have nothing on my hands. Even this elf looks like I can see too much blue coming through. This I can see too much of the veins coming through. This I see no veins at all coming through. So we are getting much better coverage with the hourglass even over the shape tape. So yeah, I guess. I guess what I would say is this is like a really good concealer foundation. I used to own the MAC concealer. I forget the name of it, but it's like a little pump, little tiny bottle with a pump on it. The I think it's called the Studio Fix Concealer. And that one had very good full coverage as well. And I would compare that to this as well. Uh, con like that and also that mac was marketed as something you could use on your full face and i did find it did um do a really good job of covering my face so i'll just come up close once again so you can see now the issue with all of these you know concealers foundations is if you get buffing away at these products they will remove from you know places you don't want them to so you'll you'll lose some coverage in areas and then you'll have redness peeking through and that's another reason you can set your foundations with a powder and that'll add more coverage not only will it add more coverage to your skin but it'll also keep that foundation from moving around so i'm going to powder one half of my face just so you guys can see that. And the powder that I have is the Revolution Baking Powder. And this is in a color, it's not translucent. This is in the color, it's in the color Light Banana. And what I like to use to apply my powders is this um, foam sponge. It's actually a tanning applicator for your face. And I like to put it on there and rub it into it. And this is just so I get a more even powder on my face, and you'll see it in a second. But I like to start underneath my eyes, and you can see the difference that makes. It's almost like it's sheared away the texture. And then I'll powder this whole side just so we can see the difference. And powder will help to set your foundations in place so they don't move around, especially if you're wearing this to conceal something, you don't want it to move around. And I powder my eyebrows. 
I powdered my upper eye. And then you definitely want to powder your neck. That way you don't get that transfer onto your clothes. And here we are. See how we'll just get more covered with the powder? But it's important that your foundation looks good to you before you put the powder on. Because it's... See how it's a little sheared out? I can see this spot, this spot. I probably would have or should have put on another layer with the beauty blender before I powdered it. But there you can see the difference. And I'll be back to show you a wear test and give you my final thoughts. All right, it's been a couple hours. So here is my face. Still has really good coverage and it does have a little shine control, which is great. I don't have super oily skin, but definitely by hour eight, if I still have foundation on, it's usually just like really, really shiny. So overall, I really, really like this, surprisingly. Um, well, I really like the other Hourglass products that I have, so I guess it's not a big surprise. But this is a really great, um, this is a really great foundation for full coverage, so I definitely highly recommend it. But then also, like I said, you could also use um, this if you're on a budget, so don't feel don't feel pressured by me, but if you're already looking at it, then yeah, I give it two thumbs. I give it two thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my reviews. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And we're almost to a thousand subscribers. Maybe by the time you see this, we will be at a thousand subscribers. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.